Hello everyone, my name is Flareblitz here, and welcome to the Umaniki fan game called Emolution. Now, I want to play another Umaniki fan game before the Dream Diary Event 3 is available for people to play the entries for the game. But beforehand, though, I want to play this game. This is a game that's made by Team Compot. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure. And this game is available in both English and French for you to download and play. But obviously in this version, we're going to be playing English. So new game in C. Oh, look at this. Try to stay awake reading the photo album. Nice. So reading the photo album so you could like... Ooh. Anyways. Number two, find the keys and use them. So keys are like effects, rather. So rather than like just getting an effect, you get a key and then using that key, then you can use an effect. Unlock the keyholes, not yet possible. Ah, so this is not the final version of a game. Later on, when an update comes out for the game, then it will be possible to use the keys for the keyholes. I messed number four, sorry. But beforehand, number three, wake up and save on the computer. Lovely. So that's how we can actually preserve our progression. And obviously, other buttons aside, um, interact with stuff is click, move is with the arrow keys, use effect, I believe that would be shift, and open menu is escape. Lovely. I wonder if tomorrow will be different. So this is a traditional Omeniki fan game from the screenshots I've seen. But some of them do have, like, a bit of dialogue to it. Like, um, The Looking Glass. And I believe Flesh Child as well. Yeah, Flesh Child had a bit of uh, dialogue to it. So, who do we play as? Dane or Danetti. I believe that's how you pronounce them. I'm not good at pronouncing words, for goodness sakes. As you may all know, I am not good at pronouncing words. So, I want to look at the computer. Oh, diagonal. Wait. Wait here while we save our progression. Choose. Normal. Choose. No. So, I imagine the washing machine is... So you're choosing something, so it could be like a menu set or something like that. So if you select no, then you could probably cycle through to another choice once you unlock them. Ooh, looking at the sketchbook allows us to dream. Oh, look at this. What the? I did not mean to do that. Hello? Are you... Ah, we're waiting for... That bus has legs. Okay. Whoa. Right off the bat, I uncovered a bit of a mystery here. Oh, we're in the bus, that's right. So I wonder if we have to wait for a certain amount of time before we can get off. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Are you the personnel behind all of this? Hmm. It could be the fact that... Ah, okay, so that must mean we're somewhere else now. Since the shadows have stopped moving. Hmm. Very interesting. So I wonder if this particular Uminiki fan game is going to have any horror elements involved. Or dark. Either way, it's not suitable for most individuals. What? A crouch? Can I get up again? So, pressing enter allows you to get up again. So, if we don't have any uh, keys activated, you can... Okay, so we're somewhere which has milk bottles and chest pieces. So, I wonder how these two particular elements are... Related in any sort of way. Aside the fact that they're tall, somewhat narrow objects. 
if you can call a baby milk bottle something that is tall and narrow, wider than a chest piece, but they both have a head, we can say that right now, they're both something that you can understand from a particularly young age, especially with milk bottle, you know, what is a bottle store, water, oh, it's dark in here. We may need a light source to be able to... You know what? We'll go for it blind. We'll see what's in here. Even if we don't have a light source. We might need a light source, actually. We'll go for it. <laughs> and we may even end up dead. By all we know. But, you know, this is a very, very good exercise to show you what not to do in a game. And that is to go somewhere which is particularly dark without a light source. Wonderful. Oh, another. No, oh, that's just the same access point. So it's good to know that this particular map isn't entirely huge, like let's say Umi Two Keys maps are. Which the last time I played was a couple of years ago. I made one video on it, and I got practically nowhere with it because the maps are just so huge and so nonsensical that, well. You're going to have to have an extreme amount of patience if you want to uncover everything in that game. Which is near impossible because it's one of those games which is never completed. It always needs some updates involved to it. Well, not needs, but it will be constantly updated at some point in the future. When? We have no idea. Anyway, talking about previous experience of Uminiki fan games. Um... I really love the Dream Diary events that take place every year. I think it's a very, very fascinating way of seeing what the community comes up with when it comes to their imaginations and putting it down onto uh, paper, firstly, because obviously you can't make a game without a plan in my pers- Ah! So we've come across an area which we may be able to access in the future you see these bars here that usually indicates an area in which is not yet been constructed for this particular version of the game oh that was surprising actually but on the bright side we can see again lovely world of scissors so the past three areas are things that you probably interact with as a child you know some kids are quite smart with the chess oriented sort of things and obviously you would use child safety scissors in class to cut things with uh, oh glass shards I'm trying to think of early symbolicness when it comes to like the world because let's be real it would be impossible for a person to dream or have a nightmare or something if they have not witnessed that particular thing or have experienced something within their own reality which has some sim uh, similarities to the events that you see within your dreams and obviously our protagonist Danetti, Denis for short Still don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Maybe I am pronouncing it correctly. Maybe I'm not. But we should actually interact with things more. And I completely forgot what we was. Oh my god, that is actually quite eerie in the background. So this game is most likely to have some dark themes around it more than not. Just because of the scissors and the glass shards around here, I'm expecting that we may be able to pick up a weapon which we can use within the game. I was expecting that to be it. You know how um, the legendary sword Escalibur is just sunk into the ground and waiting for someone to pull it out? These pairs of scissors made me feel like that that's going to be the case of this endeavorous journey. Lovely. Absolutely delightful. What about this? Let's go. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, there's more. There's many of it. Oh, cigarettes. Ouch. 
what's happened to you in your life, Donetti, for you to do that. Lots of ash piles. Mm, it's better to not start that than trying to stop yourself starting because you can't stop yourself if you never started it. And that is in that case smoking. I do not encourage it. I've never done it myself. Never planned to do it at all. A waste of money. A waste of energy. A waste of everything. Although, people do it in a ways to reduce stress and other things along the lines of socialising and stuff like that. Which I can only a small amount get behind but still you can just as easily socialize with people without the need to smoke or without the need to drink drink as in alcohol drinking you know some people can't really do it without alcohol or they must include alcohol within the premises of socializing what am I even going on about now? <laughs> I've just seen something and just talking randomly out loud. But my gosh. I'm expecting to find a key within this world. Um, would one of these... What on earth is that holding? Is it holding a fence up? Mm. There's got to be something in here. We can't just keep wandering around this landscape not finding anything. Hmm. But I still think we've done good so far. Hmm. Seems like a... We just look like cages, actually. Cages that you would normally find in a circus? This cage looks like it's been broken out of. Or they could also be radiators because of the wiring that goes into the object itself. Some of them are pried out of and other ones are intact. That one looks like it's been uh, damaged considerably. Let's see what's going on around here. As I said, I should interact with objects more because one of these could be the item that I'm looking for. Every world should have at least one uh, item. Oh, this looks... This looks... Hmm. You are pointing that way. But what exactly would be this way? Not that. Hmm, the compass told me to go this way, which means I'm going this way. Hmm, I don't know what you want out of me, chicken. I really, really do not, so I'm going to go another tile above and see what we can find. Because surely there is something in this world, we can't just keep infinitely looping around here not finding anything. Whenever I dive into an Umaniki fan game or Umaniki itself, the first item, bleh, the first item that I would like to acquire is the item that allows me, the dreamer, to increase the movement speed. But that could be gated off until we find another item which allows us to go into the area which has the item that allows us to increase our movement speed. If you know what I mean. Just because it makes the, um, the overall wandering, the over wandering, <laughs> over wandering, just uh, a little bit faster. But then again, there's no rush to go through these dreams because walking around and observing everything around you is part of the experience, part of the 
mystery of why Umaniki itself is so special. Because it's just, there's so much unknown. There's no real explanation. It's more of a game that you draw your own conclusions from. And the same could also be said of Dream Diary. That game has its own elements that made it a very, very interesting game. Obviously, it's a very conflicting game because most people, or some people rather, didn't like Dream Diary. They prefer it to be more closer to the original in terms of how you interact with the game. But I like it. I like the 3D aspects of it. Hmm. I'm kind of not getting anywhere in this. Not getting anywhere at all. So, let's go back into this place and see what we can do. Mm, who are you? Off limits. You can briefly see the surroundings, but not that much at all. Let's go up from the scissors by a, a screen or so, just to see what we can find in the surroundings. As I say, the exploration is just as important as the finding of items. Okay, so we're back out here. And what else can we do besides waiting at the station? Hmm. It has a finite amount of vertical spaces, but an infinite amount of horizontal spaces. Some of us are like that, actually. It's finite one way, but infinite another way. Or vice versa. Looks like playhouses. Hmm. Was there really something within <laughs> that sizzle slash glass world? So I'd like to think that there is. Hmm. Why is there a crack here? Surely that's got to represent something. Oh. What the? We can walk off? Hmm. Very interesting. Why can we do that though? When we can't walk... Is there a hidden path here? Now I'm intrigued. Why can we walk up there then? And that's where our uh, little path ends. Okay. Sometimes I just walk around in circles. And then the very thing that I would like to acquire is something which is in the middle of that circle. Right, so press it once, press it twice, press it a third time, and once again, <laughs> that's a Volkswagen camper van on a set of legs. Hmm, so we can't get out while we're traveling. Will this send us back to our house or to another destination entirely? Because that would be an interesting aspect that we saw in Umaniki Dream Diary. You know, you have that um, uh, tube slash bus which you ride on in order to go to different areas. There we go. We made it to our destination. It is like in Dream Diary, it sends you to different destinations. Hmm. Um, not hugely convinced by the background. <laughs> what the? Why can we jump? Why can we jump over that? Oh, maybe the tree itself is the boundaries. Good. Think, think good, good think. Yeah, I think the developer made it so that the tree itself is the boundary in which you can travel across. 
But where can we go from here? Or our path is hmm, our path is quite limited. Just trying to work out where we can walk and not across here. Hmm, up. <laughs> Damn it. There's nowhere to go here. Still a pleasant background. I have no monies. Nothing in the bin. Okay, I need to press it once in this particular area. Oh, you just press into it again. <laughs> I forgot about that little aspect. Ooh, yes. Look at that beautiful scenery out there. That's probably going to be the one. The one to settle it all. The sceneries of sceneries. The wonders of wonders. The people of peoples. The dreamiest of dreamers. The door that will open now. Thank you. We're back here. Okay, so it only sends us between two destinations, but yet, but yet we can't go back to the Nexus or go back to our home, essentially. Ah. Uh. We're going to give this one more ride, and if we go back to that tree, then we are stuck between uh, where we just came from and the tree dimension itself, or the tree world, however you want to call it. Just wait patiently now, rather than wandering around, around, what do we call it, pacing? Yeah, stop pacing along. This is it. Is my theory correct? My theory is correct. We only go between two places. Right, let's wake up and see what we can do. Pinch my cheeks! Lovely! So we haven't... What? We've got ourselves some... Uh some snacks maybe that happens every time we wake up yeah you do your business thank you very much it's always important to go to the toilet before you dream what and we got ourselves a umbrella okay that's locked <laughs> an item that we can only use indoors in our own wonderful space. Hmm. Wonder what we can do in this scenario. Hmm. Let's save our progression for now and see what we can do from here. Um, if the game will allow us. Um. What are you trying to say? We can't save while we're holding the umbrella. That's the issue that we're having. Hmm? Are you okay? A little animation. But it's quite eerie. Looks like something out of end well, I'm not gonna lie. Look at those graphics. Lovely. News. 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 We're just going through different channels now. And there's only three channels on the playlist. Can I please exit? Thank you. Oh, this room looks a bit battered. No! Oh, I want to go to the toilet inside the dream. Right. So this is, must be where the Nexus is. 
It is indeed. So we are within a journey in beyond. Let's go to the, war the uh, droplet one first and see where this all leads up to. So we've got a bunch of sea life here. So it's like a swimming pool environment. So if you see within a swimming pool and bathroom actually with all the boats. But then again, it could also be somewhere in the deep south of the earth called Antarctica, mainly because of the penguins. But then again, you, ha you can have toy peng- Okay, there's duck. So it's literally a, okay. So it's a bathroom environment. <laughs> different theories is it a swimming pool no is it in antarctica no it's in the bathroom yeah because there's tiles and things that you can find floating in the bathroom and also there's soap too lovely so where can we go from here where do we go is oh there's a door here nice oh some iron works leave anyways sewers I mean oh somewhere within the sea and can we grab what's actually floating in there can I can I grab that or do I require an item because that looks like something that you should take notice of just thinking logically if you see an individual piece on the map, you want to grab it, don't you? I sure do. Hmm, there's something else here. Something else floating around. I need something to be able to get to you, don't I? Hmm. The only thing I can do is crouch. But we wasn't able to. We were able to jump earlier, actually. Hmm. I can't jump. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing so far. Jump a tile. No. It was, we're quite conf co sorry, confined in where we can walk here. Hmm. That's a pretty unique rock. Go down here. Oh, it'd be boring if we were given like a route map on where we exactly should go to get all the items in the shortest possible time, because then that would ruin the mystery of it all. What's this here? What are you trying to hide from me? And why can't I walk over it? What is here? What's this constant, constant flashing as well? Can I walk across here? No. Mm, it's actually strange that we can't hop across. But we can hop across here though. That's a thing. Oh, look at that water. Or oh, someone has leaked fuel into the sea. And if that's the case, I'm not happy with the person who put it in the sea. No, not the developer of the game. Obviously not. Sorry, developers. Brackets S. Yes. But the, uh, the personnel who would put that within the sea itself. So it's kind of like, I blame the in-person, the, the person who did it in-game, essentially. Go up here. Hmm. It feels like we're going around in circles. I do not like that. I don't like going around in circles because it means we're doing the same thing over and over again without any results cropping up. Hmm. Are there any paths in which I can take? Because I would love to be able to get at least one key within this episode. No, not asking a lot. Just one thing. Just one thing just one um, little accomplishment there's so many things here 
you should interact with, but you can't because either the game doesn't allow you, this version of the game doesn't allow you, or the fact that you may need another item to be able to get to those places in the first instance. Could be one of those three aspects. Something that is within the game so far that you... Oh. I think, though, that's where we originally set off from, though. Mm. Over here, down there, and up here. Yeah, that's the door we originally set out from. So, is there anything the other way, per se? Mm, what's to this pink area? Graffiti. That's a start. Um, a boat. A wonderful boat. But you can go inside. Lovely. Hello. Would you like to play a game, Angel? Pink haired Angel? No? Okay. Well, I'll leave you be. I won't vandalise anything at all. I am just going about on my merry way. To see what's up. Oh wait, you can... Ooh, I found a little bug there. You can walk on this area. Hmm. Can we interact with anything? There should be an area in which you can interact with an object of sorts. Even if it's something minute. There could be a random event in here. Like if you keep going across from here to here, here to here, something like that. In one in every 100 chances, something will change with, with, within the room. And you may miss out on it because you didn't think to explore any potential possibilities of event change that transpires within here. No, okay, don't do that. Shift is usually the default button that you go for when you want to run. But obviously you can't run in the game. Uh, just testing out this theory just to see if there's anything involved on this ship. I don't think there is anything. But if there is, then I may explore it within my own free time. Time is finite within these scenarios. With a particular key, I may be able to make you react. But so far... Oh, we're in a different area, aren't we? We certainly are within a different area. I don't remember being here before. Ooh. What an event. Do we require... An item to be able to get to you? Or, this could be a random event location. Hmm, let me try. Does something happen? This feels like one of those areas where something random will happen if luck perseveres on your side. We'll be here for a little bit of time until something happens or I get bored. <laughs> Either way, this is very interesting. Very interesting indeed, because every fan game in themselves could be considered canon to the Umaniki universe, just because in this scenario, we as the dreamer can dream up of our own world. Like, the ability to dream something this vividly is... Could be very on the fence between very, very good and very, very bad. Hmm. Either it's a random event, or... You require a particular key to be able to advance forward. Hmm. Now, I haven't been able to find anything after leaving around what feels like about five minutes. 
that's about as much time I will devote to trying to find something random. Let's see. Oh, we can explore the journey as well on the boat. That's the captain's side. And this boat will arrive at wherever it deems safe to do so. Hmm. I wonder if there's any visuals that allows you to see if we've arrived at our destination. Or if, 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 if the background stops moving. Because it's the background moving, not us. It's like when you're a child and think that the sun orbits around the earth, but it's not. It's us orbiting around the sun. Okay, we're still traveling. I can get behind that. What's with these random purple splooges as well? There's a Splatoon. And we ventured into the world of Splatoon. Unsure. Oh, I thought we were slowing down then, but it's just us going against the grade by walking across and the screen doing its own thing. Are we trapped on this boat with this unsociable captain? Imagine if we do have a weapon, we'll be able to actually make them um, respond in some ways. Oh, we arrived somewheres. Oh, we've arrived back at this place. Oh, it's not the same place. It's a different place. Wonderful. So what can we do while we're here then? A, a slide. That. A bunch of hoops. <laughs> Imagine if that was the time in which... It could also be like a journey of this particular character because... We was a little baby back then and now we're... This could be like a little journey through this person's life so far. A life journey. I believe the sign has something to do with the character themselves. Like we should wait until the background stops moving on the other floor. Does this scenery really change at all? A journey for a person's life so far and each scene has like a different theme to it so it was like a little 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 baby on the first part then we was like kid kindergarten age on the second scene so i wonder if the next one's going to be like i don't know primary school okay we've arrived okay we're bigger now that's what i was thinking it's a, it's, a, it's a journey through this person's life. Okay, so this person has a passion for art and music. But why does it drip red? That's what I'm thinking. Why is it dripping red? What other different themes have you got on the store? I love the visuals, by the way. I always love the visuals of Uminiki fan games and Uminiki itself. If the game itself was made in RPG Maker 2000 or RPG Maker 2003, it's just the visual style which I love of Uminiki when it's presented in one of those two engines. Not to say that other games like me are no g Ooh. What other different themes have we got here? Hmm. What other themes do you have to play for us? I think we've done with... We're done with the playlist, so... Let's go back on the boat now and see another part of this person's life. Hmm. 
Oh, so this could be like university slash college. How old is our protagonist? Hmm. So we can't go anywhere else. Oh, we can go on the tree though. That's a bit of a bug. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, that's definitely a bug right there. We we should not be within this area. <laughs> we should not be on this tree. We shouldn't be here, but we're here nonetheless. But that's perfectly fine because this is area for improvement. Hmm. Good. What other parts throughout this personnel's life can we explore through? Okay, so the wait literally isn't that long. Okay, we got an item called a cougar. A very special feline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So this is a cosmetic change. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you want, hand? I have no idea what you want. Why is it a withered flower as well? What happened throughout the journey of this individual? Oh, we've got a very special feline. Is this like a yellowish key? So we have a wave of animal too. Now we're somewhere else. I want to use this opportunity to explore this area while we can. While having this on board. Oh. Our uh, abilities are unequipped. When we're on the ladder itself. Oh they, but they come back on. Which is nice. Up. Lots of pretty transformations right here. And we can even look to the side as well. When we're on the ladder. That's nice. That's a cool feature. So far. I'm really liking this fan game. Visually, it looks really, really awe-inspiring. But then again, I'll probably say that with most or every Umaniki fan game that's made within the 2000 or the 2003 RPG Maker engine. I don't know, ones that's made in XP or VX Ace or VX, they just, just don't have that visual charm like the, um, well, I've already said it already, but 2000 or 2003 games present. I just think it just has that more simplistic refine to it, which makes them so special. Hello, cat. Are you going to tell us the time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anything there? Nope. There? Nope. This is a bit puzzling going up and down these ladders. Hmm. Going through every possible venue, I imagine, is going to be very, very, very difficult. Oh, we've made it to the summit, though. Made it to the summit of this place. Lovely, though. One of these. Wonder if one of these clocks has a particular effect. I don't know, maybe saying oh yeah somewheres will be beneficial besides a wonderful sound to hear every now and then. Nothing there. Oh no. I wonder if we, if we honk this enough time, I wonder if a Kool-Aid man would just charge through the screen. Like, like, the game just stops and the Kool-Aid man just bursts through the screen. Oh, yeah. And then the game just exits. <laughs> I wonder if that's good. If that was an actual, if that's an actual thing, I would laugh. So much. Okay, this is a dead end. 
<sighs> this is a bit like life, really, this particular part of the game. You know, you keep going up and down, left and right, but not all avenues are going to take you somewhere in which you want to go to. Hmm. Big clock. Oh, yeah. Oh, hunkly dory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go this way then. If there is anything, if you've played this game for yourself and I missed anything out, like say an effect or uh, a particular route that I should go on, then please let me know because I'd like to refer to the um, Umaniki fan game wiki's walkthrough as minimal as possible just to make it a bit more of a mystery behind it if I were to use the walkthrough. Okay, so the only way up now is down. So we're gonna need to go across here, and I believe it's up, no, not there. Uh, this way, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be a hot minute. Lovely. Nothing through that hole. The question is, does the Kool-Aid man come out here? Yes or no, Team Compute. Team Compute. The team that made this game, let's say. I think I know what this is going to be. One of these particular junctures. Um, I am questioning the position of that bottom left character. <laughs> uh, don't ask me why, I'm just am, okay? Do not ask me why, I'm just am positioning where that personnel is. Lots of right and lefts. <laughs> okay, and now I'm questioning all of these. What are you preparing? Oh, we're back here. Go within that one. Ooh. Screw. Lovely. We've got a gigantic screw. Never miss the bottom of things. What the? So could this come in handy for a particular juncture like hiding? Because it would like something about use in order to hide from an area, a person, a thing. Ooh. This looks like a special door. Indeed it is. Oh this area is under construction. Would have to wait until a future update in order to go into that area. Those pylon cone things. Road blockades. Indicates an area which we can't go into at this point in time until a future update is released. Alright. We're hopping along as a little screw or a little nail, sorry. Hmm. Actually, let's go this way. Unless this is the way I came from. Hmm. If I go up this one and see a cat, and I believe I am going towards an area which I've already been. Yeah, I've already been this way because there's a cat there. So let's go another way now and see what we can find because. I imagine this area will always take a few minutes to try and get back to whenever you want to for this sort of exploration sort of stuff because it's a step you need to go through I mean it's not a long step but it's just only very very minimalistically tedious because of having to look at different routes of your life 
or in this case, the dreamer's life, the protagonist's life. But then again, that is part of a journey. Not every journey is going to be entirely in your favor. Like this one, for example. We are on a dead end now. Is there another summit to get to? Or was that the only summit where we could just sit on that couch? So many questions I am asking. And it's not like I'm expecting a result because this isn't a live stream. This is a local recording which is edited then to a video. Can we interact with anything whilst being a screw? Mm. Stop screwing around, Flair, and look for more items in which can benefit us. Gosh, I can't believe I've been recording for 57 minutes. Obviously, it will be slightly shortened because of the, um, uh, the ins and outs of that first segment of our life cycle part when we was on that boat. Just keep going back and forth because I literally thought that there might have been a random event and then once I saw that when we arrived back there through another boat journey that it's not the same it's different and it seems like it would be and it most certainly is a journey through someone's life which in this case is probably the protagonist's life keep going up keep going down keep going up keep going down in a way, this reminds one of the Red Maze in Umaniki. Just so many paths you can take, and only very few of them will lead you to results. Okay, folks. I am very happy with the progression that we have made here. Oh, we can't wake up while we're as this. Okay. Now we can wake up. So, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have played it so far. And we shall see each other in the next time of Amelusion. Hope you have pronounced that right again. <laughs> Just like with many things in this game. Hope you have pronounced it right. And if not, please let me know in the comments down below. Have a good day and take care of yourselves. In the description of this video, you can find a link to where you can download the game. It is completely for free. You don't have to pay for anything for this game. And if you do pay anything for this game, then please let the developers know as soon as possible so that they can then be notified of that scenario. Because there are some scenarios where a free game is released, but then another person outside of the developer's knowledge tries to profitize of this or make profit out of something which isn't theirs which is incredibly immoral but thank you so much for watching folks and check